Mr. Broyles, there's been an opinion expressed in some quarters here in Roanoke, as well as among the uh, citizenry, that uh, the viaduct here might prove a bottleneck instead of a blessing to Roanoke. What's your opinion on that, sir? Well, Joe, I think that uh, we must uh, realize that this uh, facility here, the viaduct as we call it, is not the entire answer to our downtown problems. I think it's a step in, in the right direction. Uh, it's going to be a, a device, I think, well, when it's finished, it's going, we're going to be proud of. Uh, I think that there's many other things that we're going to have to do here to help solve our, our problem. Well, tell me, Mr. Broyles, briefly, what are some of the other things that the city foresees in the future that will supplement this viaduct? Well, we must widen, of course, uh, Salem Avenue from Jefferson to First Street. I think that's one of our biggest bottlenecks that we have. Uh, the bridge is designed uh, with the thought in mind that part of the bridge, that is the uh, Randolph Street leg of it, is to tie in with our north-south uh, highway. And we've opened up the south end of it so that uh, traffic can go on through without coming down through the heart of, of the city. I think a lot of our uh, traffic uh, will then go from the part of the city on to this uh, north-south road and, and bypass uh, the business part of the city. Well, you know, several people have said, Mr. Boyles, that the viaduct should be in operation by September. Uh, how do things stand on that, on that count right now? The uh, superintendent uh, of the construction company is building the bridge, and uh, he tells me that they're shooting for the last part of September, as was in the paper and over television. But uh, there's a lot of factors that enter into it. They're still shooting for that date, and we hope that certainly by October that it will be open to four lanes of traffic, at least part of the bridge. Thank you very much, Mr. Roy. We appreciate Thank it. You.